when you do something for so long, you need there needs to be some reason for it. You know what it seems like. And when I cooked in New York, I mean, it always seemed like this is an amazing thing that we're doing, but it's it's meant for like the Lower East Side of Manhattan. Like these, that's where these people are getting this, you know. And not that those people don't deserve it. Um, there's a lot of lovely people there, but you know, a lot of those people just they didn't seem to be very hungry. You know, and food was a lot more of an entertainment thing there. And when I get back here to Montana, I started realizing that there's a different appetite. And then there's also a little bit less to work with. You have to dig a little bit more for what you want. You, you start looking at broccolis and celeries uh, that fell off the back of a truck and going, hey man, how do I make something with this? Get my head out of the clouds. And then really what it came down to was is I really wanted to get back outside again. We're stepping into supper here. Pretty fancy. <laughs> you're cooking with all your senses, right? You're smelling things, you're hearing things. So you want it to have some movement. We're good to go, man. It's not sticking. Okay. And see, here it is. This is kind of your advantage of a walk. 